Pat's beautiful Saga 36. So uh, plenty going on today. There's skipper briefings and uh, the world premiere of the the uh, Voyage of Mad Men about GGR 2018. But this is uh, going to be purely technical and of interest to sailors. So uh, uh, it's all about nuts and bolts on the boat and uh, how it works, why it works and so on. And Pat's still on board. So uh, we'll start from here. That's a boring alert for anyone that's not into sailing maybe. But even if you're not, could be fun. So this is a Saga 36, beautiful boat. Not a lot of them built. Very powerful and on paper. It's quite fast. It's one of the biggest boats in the uh, in the fleet, and Pat spent a couple of years uh, preparing it, sailing it. He's done probably about twelve thousand miles or more, fourteen thousand, um, and it's uh, looking pretty good. Uh, it's still got the original mast on it, but he's completely rebuilt the mast as well as the boat. And that funny little thing going up the top there, he's got a ladder. So if he wants to climb the mast, he's, he hoists a ladder uh, that runs in the uh, track of the mainsail. So you got to drop the main, but it's pretty secure once you've done that. Anyway, back to the boat. Uh, he's uh, got three furling systems. So he's got two right at the extremity. Oh, we thought there was a technical problem there. Jane was just coming through. So you've got two furling gears right out at the end of the boat, one on the stem and one just inboard of that. And uh, again, that's a really good rig for the Southern Ocean. It means a couple of running poles and you don't have to use uh, spinnakers, so it's quite fast. You've got a number one Genoa sort of arrangement and number two behind it. Uh, very cool. So uh, it's something that, that can give them a big advantage on maybe some of the rustlers and so on that don't have the ability to do that. They've either got to run just one head sail boomed out or run a spinnaker or so on. He's also got a furling gear on his uh, stay sail. He's got a great big banner here. It's all about uh, uh, Parkinson's research. We've got, uh, that's his individual um, individual charity that he's supporting there. Uh, and Citran, of course, is the event charity, which is similar. It's uh, motor neuron disease, uh, uh, Parkinson's, dementia, uh, Alzheimer's and so on. Anyway, back to the boat. Uh, interesting one is with the um, with the rigging here. Uh, you can see the chain plates. They're rod chain plates in a U a U fashion. There, I think you can see them. He replaced all them and slightly changed the design. It's an efficient one because the rods are actually running in a pretty straight connection. So it's a good straightforward pull. Sometimes they're rounded and they're not so good. At the moment, for some reason, his uh, chain plates are uh, without the rigging. So uh, he's obviously doing some final tuning to the rig. Uh, Pat's got granny bars on the boat which are really cool it's these uh, extra sort of rails there so that when you're at the mast doing your work you've got something to brace you and uh, stops it going over the side uh, if you get a sudden lurch uh, Pat's actually going through his final safety uh, resealing uh, with Doug there and uh, Tucker Tucker's the GGR dog beautiful dog everyone loves Tucker and uh, uh, just wrapping it up so I'll move straight to the end of the boat just to uh, show you what's going on here Pat's running with an Aries it's really quite cool looking at uh, different ways an entrant will tackle the uh, issue of uh, self-steering it's critically important in fact all of the wind vanes have to be approved to enter the GGR because wind vanes we've determined them to be a safety item in the last race uh, some of the vanes that failed you know sort of compounded issues and in one one instance may have been contributing to the fact that the boat was knocked down and dismasted and uh, uh, it's not good when you lose your wind vane in a storm so uh, all of the vanes being used have been checked out and approved uh, Aries is one of them and uh, they're, they're quite a good vane again it's a servo pendulum system which works you know works really well it's wind activated again with your flip-flop vane at the top uh, you can adjust that uh, and then it's water powered with a servo blade that doesn't steer the boat it just flops from side to side and pulls ropes and those ropes going left and right are connected to the tiller uh, which is steering the boat through the ship's rudder but because the rudder is right at the back of the boat in these sort of canoe stirred designs that's pretty reasonable so um, I think Pat will have a pretty good ride uh, he's got a made up a platform here Pat's a carpenter and woodworker so it's interesting you see lots of wood on the boat he's got his uh, uh, walker towing log there you can see that just on the starboard side or the right hand side and then behind that the little white hockey puck is the YB3I satellite tracking unit then he's got a VHF there, I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, the little blue one on the side, that'll be his, uh, uh, that'll be his transponder or one of the, uh, the iOS transponder or maybe the CTEL alarm, uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, and then there's another, uh, ooh, that, I'm not sure what that other one is. Um, but anyway, it's possibly the, the Iridium. Uh, you can set the walker log on either side of the boat, which is kind of cool. And uh, the, the Globe Yacht Club Burge is flying from his uh, Echomax transponder, the radar transponder that amplifies the, um, oh, I've got a signal here, broadcast, 
Um, I can't read it. I might be lost. Where's Jane Jane? Is that saying broadcast lost? No, we might be blanked here. Nope, still going. It's no, it stopped. It stopped. Recording, recording. Okay. So we're still recording. Uh, so we'll record this and we'll pop it up later. So uh, I don't know what happened there, but anyway. And you can see uh, uh, he's got two HF antennas there. One will be for the receiver and one will be for the transmitter. And you can see the coax cable, the white cable, standing off from the lower part of the actual main rigging. Uh, so you don't lose any power there. Also, he's got a light here shining up the back of the boat, which is kind of interesting. Hello, Pat. <laughs> I'm just giving you a rundown, a rundown on your boat. So uh, we're actually not live. We just lost the transmissions, but we're recording. We'll run it when we get back to the office. Hey, give us a, what, what's the uh, rundown on the back? What's the, the little centre white aerial there, the mushroom aerial? On That's an old one off uh, an AIS. Oh yeah. Okay. Receiver. That's cool. And you've got your you've got a hydro generator, but it's just in stored position here on the right hand on the starboard yeah. side. That's so, it yeah. Okay. So Ocean there's Pat's. Yeah. What's it? Which one is it? Ocean power hydro generator. Okay. Since I have so much weight in the boat. Yeah. You can see the area cells here, and I'm down about three and a half, four inches. Yeah. Okay. And when I put it on now, if it was rough weather, it's inclined to come in out of the water at the high level. Yeah. Okay. So it's I won't need it until I get below the equator, I reckon. Yeah. With okay. the with the solar panel. So that's cool. I think got, it's safer stored there for the moment. Yeah. You got a permanent boarding ladder. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. That's all right. Okay. So we've gone all the, over all that. So uh, we're just commenting on your your mast climbing ladder. That's pretty cool. I think you're the only one with one of those. Well, yeah, it's I really think good. it's really cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm going up in a few minutes to do something. Yeah. Okay, we'll film you just at the end. <laughs> so that's cool. And you've got it'll all be your... my first time going up, so it'll be experimental. Ah, right, okay. <laughs> oh, it'll be, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's cool. It's a good idea. And you've got your solar panels there on the top. Uh, are most of your lines going back to the cockpit? Looks like they are. Most all of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for yeah, mainsail yeah. and hits on. All yeah. the mainsail reefing, yeah. all, the, yeah, the, all the sheets and everything like that. Okay, so it's all looking good. Um, you're happy with what's going on? You got a soft dodger? Was that intent or just easy? Oh, definitely intent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, when I started following the first, or the 2018 race, I said to myself, I definitely wouldn't have a hard top dodger. Yeah. Because of the, in, in 80 knots with a following wind, it's the size of a storm jib nearly in the wrong place in the boat. It's just my opinions now, yeah. but not one of them finished until Mark Sinclair came up coconut this year. <laughs> that one of the hard dodgers finished. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Which gave me a bit of confidence that maybe I make good decisions. <laughs> yep. And they're heavy. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, you're yeah. an extra 100 weight of fiberglass under. Yep, absolutely. You know, it's interesting. I'm standing here sort of trying to think of all the things that, that we can talk about that you've modified to, to do for the GGR, but really it's just a really cool cruising boat, eh? You know, like in terms of... Not yeah, in terms well, of for the 36-foot boats, it has by far the shortest mast. Yeah. And... It is two tons heavier than the rustler, yeah. so I need wind. This boat will sail in wind. I I like I carry full work in Genoa and mainsail in twenty knots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's pretty cool. They'll, they'll be pushing it a bit now, maybe yeah. too much, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. But of course, in that weather, I have a very full bow, and yeah. the waves stop me. Where the rustlers will cut through it, you know. Yeah, so yeah, they have yeah. an advantage yeah. that way. So yeah. okay, can we jump on board? Yeah, have a look down below. Everyone will be interested to see what's going on. So that's cool. Okay. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> morning. Good. Good. <laughs> Shoes on, okay, Pat? Yeah. Fine, yep. Guys. No problem. Thanks. Come on, Dumas. Hi, Jay. Okay. Geez. This is the the advantage of a of a uh, proper companion boat. It's relatively easy to get down. Wow. It's looking good. I must admit, I've been on Pat's boat quite often, and I love it. <laughs> it's a huge boat, eh? It's absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. This is a, a tuner. Hang on, let me give it a, get an overview. This is a really cool uh, liverboard boat. Besides being a flat-out GGR race boat, you've got portside galley. Uh, you've got uh, portside galley. Lots of room. Huge headroom. Pat's a timber worker. You'll see lots of interesting things around here. Uh, and yeah, really comfortable layout, and nothing's been super modified on that. You've got the, the chart table over here, which we'll go through in detail in a sec. You've got a big quarter berth down here, which looks like a storeroom for the moment, bits and pieces, and uh, uh, yeah, very cool boat. 
and that's your your uh, head compartment in here what every good GGR racer should have you know so uh, you get a yeah it's very comfortable including the head door so that's cool yep just shuts there and onto the mic okay so now for some detail we'll start at the sharp end of the boat shall we uh, oh there's the infamous painting oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your favorite item on the boat yeah that's cool okay so you're in the forward cabin uh sail locker you know sail yeah. locker and dump. these yeah. are two hatch covers for my hatches in case it never happens yeah 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 they're yeah. heavy but because my deck is epoxy plywood they'll just yeah. screw on if i ever need if yeah. i ever have trouble with them yeah i'll just yeah. cover and tree. no that all looks good that's very conventional you know we're Plenty talking so I, I put bars here to tie the rope onto. Yeah, yeah. Worked yeah. well, and yeah. I saw that with Robin Davies yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep yeah. copying other people's cool. ideas. There's yeah. the audio system for sound system. <laughs> yeah. As it takes. <laughs> so it works. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it's okay. And you've actually, you're, I think you're the only one carrying two weather faxes, and they're both working. They're both working, but yeah. it's difficult to get in signals. But yeah. it, it, you won't get them in here. Like I tested them outside, and yeah. you're getting signal all right, but not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, but I have cool. a heap of books to study how to get better signals. Yeah, cool. Uh, wh what's the history of them? You bought them second hand, given to you, or what happened? I bought this off Guy de Boer. Yeah. And a, a fisherman in England gave me this one. Yeah, cool. It was on yeah. his boat, John Michael yeah. Graham, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And you can okay. see my carving, including the map of. Oh, yeah, there's carvings everywhere here. They're really quite cool. I don't know how. Oh, yeah, we can see that. So tell us a story there. The top one is my father's expression. Yeah. It's all about survival and arrival. Yeah. And down just different, yeah, I carved the boat and sponsors yeah. and people yeah. that influenced me. And here is Jean-Luc Van de Heed and yeah, you yeah. were there. Yeah, ooh, jeepers. These are sponsors, <laughs> Green Rebel, yeah, Green who Rebel. sponsored me, and FLA Group, and yeah. their names and that thing. Yeah. So, and so my, you actually my do children. that with a router and a template, or you'd by hand? Like as in, I know, a router, a router sure, you make yeah. a template to run the router. Oh, no, I have a CNC machine. Ah, you're cheating. <laughs> yeah, I'm not cheating. <laughs> ah, you're meant to I be have the, to type it in. You're meant to be the little naughty Irishman up there <laughs> with a toy factory and just sort of, you know. Yeah. But that's cool. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Okay. And you've done the other side here. What's that say? Um, Inclinometer, 360 degrees. I like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it'll never go up there. But, um, <laughs> okay. The feather and grey aharu, akas feather, no shorter aharu. You can't change the wind but you can adjust your sails that's irish yeah yeah okay yeah, yeah. yeah very good and the one over here is my favorite yeah uh, okay this gets tricky i know we're uh, we're a kids program too you know <laughs> <laughs> i know what's here but anyway we'll see if we can get this here yes you can describe it <laughs> uh, it's just food 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 when you do without food any food is good like that. yeah the it. second the fifth layer, the second line's in the dark you can't quite read it back it says food is like sex when you abstain even worse stuff begins to go good <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, what, what food are you taking? What, what's the canned, style of food? Canned. Oh, a lot of wet food. Yeah, yeah, mostly. I have maybe 30 freeze dried dinners, 25, yeah. 30, I forget now. Yeah. The table here is my main storage for food. That yeah. I so you built this, you built a big box instead of the original table. Yeah. Massive uh, box um, in the, the center of the boat. Over. Yeah. Lint is over, it'll come out the original table, go in, and we can sit back around again. Yeah. It's really a single handed boat now, like it's. Yeah. But, um, so it's a huge bin, yeah. Yeah, that's organic it's porridge, massive. and that's just yeah. yeah. No, I have other food in under the two bunks. I must admit, I'm a wet food fan as well. So is Jean Luc. You know, he didn't take many freeze dried at all. You I know, got some lovely tins of food in. Absolutely. France. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can sit here. Yeah. And whatever, and I can yeah. sit here. This this works well actually. And eat or whatever. I shouldn't have put two cup holders, but. Yeah. Because when I'm writing, I go through. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, That's cool. And this is a full-size chart table. Yeah. This is, I do all my navigation here now. Yeah. I don't navigate there much. I, yeah, I, yeah. Oh, but yeah. a full-size chart table. That's cool. ship's shape, like, you know, yeah, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. yeah. And, worked out, and that wasn't the plan. That just worked out. <laughs> <laughs> so when you run out of firewood, which part of the furniture are you going to chop up first? <laughs> For, I no, no. Well, I can't really because when I run out of firewood... I'll have to keep this till I pass the Falklands. Yeah, okay. So if I run out of firewood there, it won't matter. So how much how much fuel are you taking for your heater? He's got a got a a, a real live uh, wood heater down here, you know, yeah, all ready to go. Yeah, paper dumped in there. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I have yeah. about twelve kilos of timber. Twelve kilos, and how yeah. long do you reckon that'll burn? I, uh, if if you're four months in the Southern Ocean, if you lit a fire a week, 
and it's it's not so much it'll help dry out the boat. Yeah. It's more of a comfort thing and I'm a bit of a pagan. I like the element of fire <laughs> on the boat. I know you have it with the cooker. No, it's, it's yeah, quite it, cool, it's right? one of the elements and so I would have I would have enough for a fire week. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And you've insulated all the all the decade. Right? That was yeah. for heat as much as cold. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay, and you've got I have more knitting to put up instead of this for yeah, yeah. fruit into. And you got a you got a bar graph there. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Good to see. So, uh, but it's still just basically a nice boat, eh? And you've got the best stove in the world as well. Yeah, the I Aurigis. got to like it even though I didn't like it when you showed no, it. We discussed it first. But yeah, yeah, it's funny when you first had the boat. This is a couple of years ago. Yeah, I, I said, prefer oh, I I use the yeah. yeah, because it's so good. And Pat said, "Oh no, I'm gonna chuck that." Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> it's I really... got to like it a lot. And oh yeah. And you so have simple. full control of your mitts, yeah. your meta, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you'll know if you have a liter a week, if yeah. you're using too much, cut back too early like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Out, yeah. yeah, no, it's, they're, they're really cool. So, uh, and I believe there's a German guys that take, because it was all, they stopped making them because it was considered to be carcinogenic, you know, and they couldn't sell them in America. But I think a German company's taken it on because I think they're bringing it back. Very good. To Europe, yeah. but anyway, we'll see. So uh, what are you done in the chart table? It's actually a cool chat table. It's, it it's is, so it, but that's way better. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah. I never love it. I put a, a toolbox in there, and yeah. especially so I could put my, my feet on here when I was sitting down. Yeah. And you can never get here. Yeah. But unless I was on the port, I can lean in this way. Yeah. I, I haven't. I don't even sit down here and read. Yeah. It's all done at the full size yeah. chart table. Yeah. yeah. But I use it for storage for all my bits. Yeah, there's my platen sheets there, and yeah. I have more platen sheets underneath. So. Yeah, 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 perfect. Um, perfect. You know, they're stored. Yeah, yeah. yeah. very yeah. good. And yeah. other stuff, yeah. So. Okay, and you got all the bits. You've got the C-tail here, and uh, where's ah. your Echo Max there? <laughs> Everything and is a Transponder, mess. Yeah, yeah. it's all there. And you got your radio behind your head there in a waterproof box. Yeah. A watertight box, so it can't get flooded too easy. Yeah. Is that the, the M710? Yeah. Yeah, nice radio. And this, this my, my radios are rocking well. Yeah. BBC now. Yeah, that's your receiver. That's a ham ham transceiver, just but as no, a receiver. It, it's oh, it's just, just a receiver. receiver yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is my my radio equipment is working well? Yeah. Like yeah. You're able to get time signals and listen yeah. to, like yeah, you can cool. listen to BBC perfectly yeah, down yeah. here. And you got your R RDF radio direction finder there. Yeah. And you got and your the YB3s there. Well, there's one there among yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and they're getting a good signal there. Yeah. You've got this yeah. foil there. That's not gonna. Well, anyway. they go, I actually behind Jane here. Yeah. I pop them in there quite often. Don't yeah, run away, cool. Jane. <laughs> yeah. She's <laughs> had one of those. That's an impact driver. Yeah. I had, I had one of those when I was like 19. Exactly the same tin. Had you? <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. That's belonged oh, to Rob. it's exactly the same. That's totally. belonged to Rob. Huh? That's belonged to Rob. Yeah, cool. Yeah. That's exactly the same hand. one forever. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. You give me a hand taken. Uh, yeah, yeah. The mask. So what's the favourite spot on the boat? You know, where you hang out? That's easy. Just, oh, I've got to try and bring this, this around. Well, depending on which tack you're on. Yeah. If you have the fire lighting and things here. Yeah. These are nice pictures. Yeah. Friend brought me down. Yeah. Perfect. And then I get all the lads to sign them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Perfect. me leaving Dingle there. Yep. It must be two months ago now. Okay. So that's yeah. your favourite hideaway on that side behind the table there. If it's you're on a starboard tack, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's yeah. comfortable and yeah. that's you can cool. right here. Yes, I'm going to come down here to give them a look. It's a nice boat, eh? It's a very cool boat, indeed. Big boat, lots of volume, which means lots of power. So, uh, yeah, looking very cool. Okay, Pat, well, that's, uh, and how much water are you taking? Where's your water? Oh, it's here, there. I have nearly 300 litres in the main tank, which yeah. is in under you now. Yeah. I've just put in my sealed one and other ones in here. Yeah. And I have <coughs> five more cans outside <coughs> in the starboard locker behind the quarter berth in yeah. there just fit in nicely and I have five more that will go in the, the port locker back in the cockpit. So, so that's 400 that, litres or something? Just over 400, 420, yeah. Cool. yeah, 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 yeah. So it varies a lot, eh? From, from sort of 240 to, to yeah. 500. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 cool. Okay, fantastic. I think we're, uh, anything else you want to tell us? Anything top secret about the vape, you know? No. no. <laughs> I won't give away my secrets. Away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you got waterline in standard like some of the others? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but three. <laughs> one for the front, one for the back, and one for the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. cool. All right, well, that's fantastic. Nice boat, and good luck, eh? So uh, uh, I'm just going to switch this around. Jane Jane's here, look at that. Ooh, hello, Jean Jean. Oh, no, don't hide behind the bloody camera. Oh, jeepers, i got to say goodbye. If I press that, it's me here. Goodbye, thanks. <laughs>